What is poppin' everybody? Whoa, we're jumping into it. <laughs> this is Nintendo vs. Realistic Waters for Snake Phase 2. Um, can we start at the beginning? Talk? Whoa. Anyway, Pissimian vs. Pissimian lead. They both went for the U-turn. Um, let's take a look at the teams. Fairly standard bulky offense from both of them. Torterra has been uh, seeing a lot of usage in NU because Helisk... Uh, they, they're actually thinking about suspect testing Helisk because of how good it is. And let me turn on the music so you guys can actually listen to something as well. Because my voice is too boring, right? He goes into McMortar on the slow bro, which... Like, is it is it Z Thunderbolt? Who makes this play? <laughs> Waters? I'm gonna call him Waters, by the way. It's a lot easier than RW or whatever. Um, goes to McMortar on the slow bro. From the U-turn damage, he sees that his fist death slow bro, not AV, but still Thunderbolt wouldn't kill. He goes for it, though. I guess he knows that uh, Skull wouldn't go out. Is that Specs? That did... That did too much. Is that Specs? I think that might be Specs McMortar. Wow. Uh, the Pissimian is almost dead. Um, Waters doesn't have a great switch into this. He could go into his own Pissimian or to Golbat. Letting Golbat get knocked is not th not that bad. Uh, he really only needs Golbat for the for the Pissimian anyway. It's nice for his the first the seed for sure, but it's not amazing. Mm, he goes to Golbat on the U-turn, takes three. <laughs> um, goes to I'm assuming Rotom. Um, because it looks like it's just going to be uh, Volt Switch, Hex, Rotom anyway. Well, obviously Volt Switch, they're all Volt Switch. It looks like Defog, Hex, Rotom. Um, so he can Volt Switch, and if he wants to go into Torterra, he can Willow with that. Which is kind of nice. And he can Defog on Torterra anyway. Although Woodhammer would hurt after a Willow Wisp, it wouldn't be terrible. He could also go Sneasel here if he really wants to. But I don't really like that play either. Zatu doesn't make too, too much sense. Uh, I guess Zatu does beat Golbat, but uh, you don't gain anything. Anyway, all we've seen Nintendo do so far is click U-turn. That's funny. With his Pissimian. <laughs> That's just how good the monkey is. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's going to U-turn out to Rotom. That makes the most sense to me. Maybe click will wisp then, but he doesn't have a good switch to spec McMortar. I think, uh, I think this McMortar is going to put in a lot of work. Because Nintendo can't, Nintendo can't really ever go into Slowbro, because um, if the Specs T-Bolt does hit Slowbro, then he goes to Ferris Seed. Interesting. I wonder if this is Taunt Goal, but I could see Nintendo doubling into uh, Zatu for that reason. Um, Ferris Seed does kind of beat Golbat if it isn't Taunt. If it is Taunt, then it loses. Hard McMortar on the rocks, wow. So, this is kind of what I'm talking about, but I think Nintendo should always protect here with Ferris Seed if he has it. Uh, because if Waters would click uh, T-Bolt on the incoming Slowbro, then Pissimian is, is really good for the Nintendi. Obviously, there's still a Zatu, but Zatu is getting worn down by U-Turn or Knockoff. Hmm. He goes hard Slowbro on the Fire Blast. Still takes 51! Oh my god! So yeah, you just click it again and you claim one. Oh my god, I didn't think it would, be, would do that much. That is crazy! That's insane! Whoa! And what are you beast? But yeah, you... Then you can't sack this. You really can't. I just... Wow, he did it. Oh my god! What is that roll? He gets the burn though, so... He could go for it again. Was 51 a max roll? That kind of makes sense, but... With the burn... Uh, that burn really sucks for Nintendo because that means he can't slack off again. Whereas uh, after that, I think if the 51 was a max roll, he could have just kept slacking off and stalled out the Fire Blast. He only has uh, six more, six left. So yeah, um, I think you click Fire Blast again if you're Waters. However, the rocks are up, and after it's cold, I think my Mortar is basically dead. But yeah, if you get it in on a Pharisee even once, then like, bop, KO. And once again, if 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 Slowbro goes down from the Tendi, then... And I think Waters has a good matchup. Goes Pissimian. Does he land? He does. Pissimian is gone. Which is really good for Waters because that means he gets a defog with Gold, but he doesn't really need Gold anymore. Um, he can just keep it around for the Ferris Seed. I mean, it still takes hit from someone. It maybe even can Toxic, uh, uh, Rotom, or Slowbro. Goes into Sneasel. I wonder if he's going to Pursuit. This is a 50 50, I believe, because Band of Sneasel. I think it knocks out McMortar. Um, I think it knocks out McMortar. Because McMortar has no defense. If it's 
Bandit Pursuit and he switches out. However, Bandit Knockoff. He does click Pursuit, he stays in. Hits the Fire Blast. Oh my god, Sneasel Khan. This McMortar is putting in the finest of work and the attendee does not have a way of dealing with it. He is getting roasted. Now what? I think you have to go back to Slowbro and you have to click Scald. Maybe Z is called? Because um, I don't know what else would be the Z move user on this team. Maybe, maybe Rotom? No, it has to be Slowbro on this team, right? We haven't seen an item yet. Uh, it should be Z, Rotom. Uh, Z Slowbro. What do you do? I think you... Yeah, I think you switch out because next time you click Fire Blast you get a kill. He clicks Lag off again, it kind of makes sense. Because you either stall out a Fire Blast or your Slowbro is back to full. Future side on the Calm Mind from Slowbro. Like I said, the Calm Mind makes sense because uh, it should be Z Slowbro at this point. Um, I wonder if the Slow King has Dragon Tail because if it doesn't, then this Calm Mind Slowbro is a bit of a problem. Sneasel can't really kill it because, you know, Z move. He does have Dragon Tail. Okay, so now the Future side is going to hit the Rotom. It's going to do 85%. Waters is playing it so well. He really is. He's out playing the Tendi basically every turn. Um, this Rotom being dead would mean that um, Torterra has... Uh, well, actually, Torterra's matchup is not great still. And Close Combat still isn't good either because there's a <laughs> there's two Psychic times left. I guess Rotom's matchup wasn't great anyway, but it, it frees up your goal bet, I guess. But you didn't need goal bet, so it, it's, it's all good. Goes to Torterra on the Rotom who clicks Hex. Interesting. I guess he figured Sloking might stay in. I <laughs> think... Full Twitch probably didn't even kill because AV Sloking is just that strong. Um, I wonder if you click Woodhammer here. I think it's your safest play. Because even if he does go out into Pharisee, you could double out into Golbat. If he goes to Zatu, then that's fine. You get damage on the Zatu. 21 is nothing though. I think it would do a little bit more. I think Zatu has to U-turn here if he does have it. If he doesn't, then... Oh, he's roosting. And Waters just gets back to full. Now goes to the Golbat. Once again, he doesn't need Golbat anyway, so he might get a defog off. He's got for the Toxic with it, though. Very nice play. Yeah. Uh, so Zatu so far has only shown Roost and Toxic. Probably Nightshade and U-Turn? But he didn't U-Turn out. I wonder why. Anyway, so you could just go back into uh, into the Slow King here. The only the only wink on I still see for Nintendo is Last Mon Sloper with Calm Mind. Yeah. Last one slower with Calm Mind is, uh, is definitely a threat. Because the Slow King can keep facing it out, but... Uh, uh, he can keep facing it out, but at the same time... If it's a Last Mon, you can't do that. But I think that Waters still has the... Uh, still can beat the Slowbro that way, because he still has a Torterra. Which Wood Woodhammer should do like 60-ish. And that plus Bandit Knockoff should just kill it. Psyshock, Dragon Tails it out. Rotom comes in, and I think Nintendo just has to go hard into Slowbro here, um, or his Rotom will die. He can't Volt Switch in case, yeah, exactly, he can't Volt Switch in case he goes to Terra. Goes to McMortar, and he can click Thunderbolt, and, well, he doesn't pick up a KO, but Nintendo can't really stay in either, so I wonder if a Waters clicks Fire Blast. Thunderbolt is easily the safest play, but Fire Blast would get rid of the uh, Feather Seed, because uh, if I'm Nintendo, I always go Feather Seed on Thunderbolt here. He could sack off his Rotom if he wanted to. Uh, he can't stay in. This is his wing con. He can't. If he loses Slowbro to, to a T-Bolt right now, it, the game is legitimately over. Um, th thanks, Doc. Um, yeah, you... I think Waters always clicks T-Bolt here, because he just has the advantage. And I think Nintendi always goes to Pharisee. If Waters does click Fire Blast, then Slowbro comes back in, but you go to your own Slow King. However, Slow King is pretty low right now. So Sloking and then maybe double out into Golbat and then back to Sloking. I can see that. Goes to Rotom on the Fire Blast. Again, he had to switch there. He couldn't risk Slowbro though, but now he can get back to Slowbro. Probably Calm Mind up. Um, but Calm Minding doesn't give him that much anyway. Goes to Torterra on the Calm Mind. Yep. And now you can just click Woodhammer. The problem is that he needs his Torterra for the Slowbro. So it was a bit of a risky play. And obviously, if he woodhammers Zatu, he's going to take a lot of recoil. And he had to click woodhammer there in case Slowbro clicks Scald and just burnt this Torterra. So yeah, if you're Water, you probably go back into the McMortar right now. Uh, worst case, you get toxic, whatever. Um, he goes 
the Simeon. Probably gonna knock something off. If he gets rid of the helmet, then boot hammers are a lot safer. And it's gonna hit Slogar hard, and it's gonna get rid of the Violet on Pharisee. So knockoff is pretty drawback free. If you hit Slogar with the knockoff, it's gonna get the burn damage. And I think he can go back to Sloking at this range. Range? Rate. Wow, sorry. Goes to Sneeze on the Scald. Does not get burned, and knockoff is still free. Because if you knock off here, he's gonna basically die, even if he clicks. Yeah, you can't slack it off because of the burn. Um, either way, you can't really slack off uh, a bad that sneezes knockoff. Not easily. Goes to Pharisee, will get knocked off, 38%, will get Iron Barb's damage off. Um, but Waters can go back into Brick Mortar, and Nintendo has to, has to realize this. He doesn't. Yeah, he clicks Leech Cheat, and now he can protect up, or you could just go hard into. Is it not protect? Because if it isn't, that sucks. I think Waters just clicks Fire Blast here. But at this rate, um, I keep saying that. Right now, I would I would risk slow, bro. On the fire blast, he goes to slow king, get some regen off. It is rocks fair seed. Wow, he just risked it. That's funny. <laughs> he hasn't shown protect yet. Leech sheet stealth rock. That's all he's shown. It's interesting because if he had protect, I think he would have clicked it the first time. This scout would move my mortar locked itself into. Future side on a lead sheet. Um, I'm assuming the slow king is fire blast too, so Nintendo is kind of outplaying, but it doesn't matter either. <laughs> you just switch out of the slow king, gain your regen again. Uh, yep, you go into Golbet, I guess. On the slow bro. Do you defog them away? Because I think you do. But then slow king can scald burn you, I guess, or can start call mining up. But I think you defog these away, so you make more target come in again and basically pick up a KO. Especially because Pharisee's Eviolite is gone. Even t bot will hurt it. Sea Skull doesn't kill. Oh, it's Sea Psychic. Okay, I was gonna say, Sea Skull doesn't kill from this range, but... As a crit future sight, so you can go back to Sneasel, click Knockoff. No, you click Fire Blast with Magmortar and get a kill, right? Actually, he does go Sneasel. I would have gone Magmortar, kick Fire Blast, because Slowbro is 100% in range. Goes to Pharisee on another Knockoff. Yeah, it's still not doing that much. It's the same damage, right? Because the item is gone. <laughs> it should be the same damage as within a Violet. I wonder if he knocks again. Or if he just goes hard with Mortar. Because if I'm Nintendo, I always get, get up rocks here. I think that's just your best play. Sneasel does leave one more round of rocks. I understand why he didn't go into Mac Mortar. Because if he did miss and Slowbro kicks called. It would have been risky, but at the same time, you just got a KO. And this Pharisee, yeah, he just knocks it off, so Pharisee is uh, basically gone. Yep, and you knock off again. Rocks are here to stay, but T Bolt also just wins, I believe. I believe Specs T Bolt just wins. I don't, I don't see a way for Nintendo to live that with any of his mods. And Waters just clicks knockoff here, and it, it's game. Well played and well prepped by Waters, because uh, that, that Specs McMortar was extremely good for the Nintendo. Nintendo should have had a uh, AV Slowbro, for example, to take that on. But So he takes down the Sneasel with him, but now you go McMortar, click T-Bolt. Even if you don't kill, you still have the Passimian, which can click uh, U-Turn afterwards. And Nintendo has to scald here. Yeah. So it gets down to a 3 0, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be game. So I wanna thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Darkwood, subscribe to me, etc. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, and I will see you next time. Alright, later guys.